it's Chelsea the Messenger with picks and parlays. We're talking college football. It's the Big 12 championship game between Oklahoma and Iowa State. Christmas is right around the corner, and we've got a promo code. The code is NOEL uh, for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Oklahoma is favored minus 5.5. The total is 58. Oklahoma enters 7-2 and two on the year, 6-3 and three against the number. While Iowa State is eight and two, eight and two, yes, and six and four against the spread. We've got Sean Higgs joining us to break it all down. Sean, what stands out to you about the Big Twelve championship game? Obviously, it's a rematch. Other than that, yeah, what do you? Who do you like? Other than that, like, um, no Big Twelve team making the college football playoffs again here. Yeah, you know, your first gut reaction is you're going to jump on Oklahoma. You're thinking revenge game. You lost thirty-seven to thirty. You know, you're winning game most of the way here you know you're up 30 23 whatever the case would be late two touchdowns late 85 yard kickoff return to set up a touchdown then your quarterback gets picked off with like a minute left in the game going downfield to possibly tie the thing up so you want to say you know what i gotta take oklahoma here but i you know not so fast as our old coach friend says here i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the dog Uh, i always say this dog's been tough they're just a tough team i get you know oklahoma this is not your vintage Sooners team putting up 57 a game and crazy defense. I think this is going to be a, a, a more of a defensive battle, and I, I guess I'd lean on the under here as well. But I'm going to take the points here. I would say to keep it close. I won't be shocked if they, they, they knock them off again here because that's just the way this season has gone up and down across the board in uh, all conferences. So give me the points here. Maybe sprinkle a little money line in because I think everybody's jumping on uh, just the revenge as a, as a heavy angle, but I'm going with the dog here. Tough dog. Yeah, for a Big 12 game, the total of 58 certainly looks low, traditionally speaking, you know, because the, the knock on the Big 12 is that there's no defense being played defense. ever. Yeah. Uh, however, Oklahoma is actually pretty good against the run. Opponents averaging just 88 a yards per game on the ground, but Iowa State has a pretty good running back in a, a Brees Hall, 139 yards rushing last time they met, uh, two touchdowns as well. So I don't know how they stop him this time again. Uh, I don't know if that's the answer. I mean, he can still have a great game and they can still lose, but this is a tricky one for me. I don't think I will be placing any kind of wager on it just because I would like to sit back and watch it because I think it's going to be a good one. The over is hit in eight of the last nine meetings, but I think this is a bit of a different matchup uh, when it comes to the matchups of the past. Uh, Any uh, inklings on this one? Uh, I guess you you kind of mentioned that in the total, but anything else you think better should know before betting on this game? Well, remember, I think this game's in Jerry's world. It's not a, you know, it's a neutral game for everybody. And there'll be fans, but not like your crazy fans, you know, and that weighs into a lot of, you know, it's a lot to, in NFL, college football, whatever. You know how people screaming and jumping down your throats. It's not, you're not getting your full starts. You're not getting like the big crowd behind a, a big underdog and stuff like that, or the favorite's going to jump out and take people out of the game. So I, I think that weighs a lot on the game. So one, that's why I kind of like the under here because it's not the same explosive teams. Two, you're not playing in front of people. Three, the defenses on both sides of the ball are better. So I'll go with you here on the under. The 58 does look low, and I'm going to take the dog. I think I'm not shocked here. They win outright. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our college football talk here on Picks and Parlays. As always, great insight from Sean Higgs. Sean, thanks for joining us.